kids and cadets, welcome back to Tommy Time. We're revisiting this 2020 Yard Max. In the previous video, I gave all you kids and cadets hell for making me buy this or not stopping me from buying it. So I want to say I'm glad nobody stopped me from buying it. I think this is a going to be a good machine and we'll go through it some more. I kind of poked around, did some things to it, and uh, hopefully it'll start. I just changed the oil, sharpened the blade. We did a little um, tank, gas tank cleaning. So I'll discuss all that good stuff with you here momentarily. In case you f forgot from the last video, this is a YG1650. It's a Yard Max brand. We had looked at the ID label. It's got an American headquarters in Rose, Roseville, Illinois. It's a Chicago suburb. I looked it up. This is a completely China built machine, this Yard Max. I took the beauty cover off to get the gas tank off and we'll go over that in a minute. <laughs> But this is a Chong Going Rado Technology Company Limited machine. C H O N G O I N G Rado Technology. Chong. Oh, that's a Q there, sorry. C H O N G Q I N G. I thought it was an O. Kong Quing. Rado Technology. Sorry for everyone if I, I butchered that name. It's not an everyday name. So this beauty ring comes off with three Phillips heads. We might as well discuss that now. The gas cap pops off like a Briggs and Stratton overhead valve style. There's a track on the side of the recoil that this goes on. So let me show you the fuel that came out of it. I let it sit, settle. It's been settling a couple hours. I ended up washing this thing off, as you can see. I mean, it looks fantastic. Totally 100% different looking machine than the, the first video. We got water to this level and a little bit of gas. So more than half water, maybe a little bit of gas right here. So in other words, this thing had uh, contaminated fuel. I think that's the only issue. Let's keep moving on the fuel. I did what I said. I, I just removed the bowl. Bowl was just, um, had some moisture in it. No, no other sediment. Super clean bowl, so I didn't bother taking the carb off. I knew we just had contaminated fuel. So remove this, that, that's been drying in the sun. So why don't we come over to the other side, flip it over, and then we'll discuss where the um, gas tank goes and then put the bowl back on, fuel it. I already oiled it. We got oil. I brought it up to the high mark with fresh oil. So I kind of um, took a brush and got rid of all the um, grass that had accumulated on the underside. So 
So I cleaned that up. I went ahead and sharpened the blade. I want to give this uh, machine a couple of extra credit points. So on the blade, it's kind of like a hyper tough blade. It's only one blade will fit this. They're not perfectly round um, circles. There's a little, a little flat spot here that prevents you from putting the blade on upside down. The blade's only going to go on one way due to these offset flat spots. So I thought that was pretty cool because if you have a standard bow tie blade, you can put this thing on backwards or upside down. There's nothing to, to stop you from doing that. Because I've gotten these bow ties put on upside down before. There's only one way this blade's going to go on. So I give them extra point for that. Let's uh, turn it back over and discuss the gas tank. So what I thought is cool is a little tab here on the recoil, which you have to push back to get the tank up. So I thought that was pretty good. It puts pressure here on the tank to keep the tank in one spot. Let's put the bowl back on.
Looked like a landscape crew showed up next door to look at some trees. I think they may come back to do a job here. They were sizing up the situation. So I had let this thing sit in the sun with the um, float bowl hanging. I had the tank sitting on the hood of my Honda CRV. Let the sun heat that up, remove all the moisture from the tank. So this thing should be ready to go. Uh, degrease it, as you can see, made it look pretty. So let's prime it. It still has the shitty torch plug in it. I could probably cross-reference that with a good champion or auto light, even if I had to. It probably takes an RC-12YC Champion because this is an overhead valve style engine. So I'll take that. It's got a little bit of a different tone than the Briggs do. I hear some crackling and popping. It's probably the uh, water I may have sprayed into the exhaust when I was degreasing this thing. So I mean, it is a cheap China unit. There's no rubber on the tires. These are strictly plastic all the way around. It's a plastic hub with a, a piece of plastic as um, imaginary rubber tread. This is uh, all plastic here. So, but there are a couple of features, like I pointed out with the blade, it can only go on one way. And then the tab on the tank to keep the tank from jumping up and down on the uh, two slots on the recoil. So I'm happy for 10 bucks, unfortunately. Somebody was using contaminated fuel. They could have probably rectified this themselves, turning this on its side, pouring the fuel into a, a milk jug half of a milk jug, get rid of the old fuel, and then taking a 10 millimeter open in and uh, draining the bowl from the bottom. If they would have been able to do that, they could have used this yard max again this season. But as you know, you kids and cadets watch my channel. People don't even have a pair of channel locks. Once it stops operating as it should, it goes right out to the street. They run out and buy another machine. Not even a three-year-old unit here. They got rid of it. This has got a production date, May of 2020. So I kind of give this two thumbs up. I was kind of skeptical in the beginning, figuring it was another hyper tough style junk machine. I think the fact that it's 
less than three years old, hasn't been abused, is helping this thing out. It's, it's going to have some more life left in it. Anyway, I thought you'd be interested to see how the yard max turned out. Kind of glad you didn't clock me over the head when I went to buy this. This is the, the one time one of these China deals has not turned sour on me, so all is good. You know the routine. You go out for a nice meal, tip your waitress and wait staff. They really depend on your generosity. Anyway, come back and see me. We'll have more junk on four wheels. This Yard Max even looks better than this Husqvarna. This is a machine I gotta dive into. Make it as pretty as the Yard Max. This will probably be one I do very shortly here, the 775. Been kind of quiet on the scrapper front. This is probably one of the last units I got recently. But you never can tell. When I say that, I'll get a call in 20 minutes. Somebody's got five dead mowers for me and they show up and drop them in my driveway. You never can tell at Tommy time what's coming down the road. Have a good day today.